Talk to us about your international plans. Are you planning perhaps to sell smartphones in the U.S.? Thank you, Haslinda. It's a, it's a great pleasure to be here today. A little bit cold, though. <laughs> uh, so um, uh, this is actually the first time that Xiaomi is representing itself at the World Economic Forum. And uh, it's because we are now present in 90 countries globally. Um, our revenue in the third quarter of 2019 from overseas market is now about 49% of our total revenue. And uh, just in the first three quarters, we are, our total revenue outside of China is now very close to $10 billion. So I think you know, we are now truly a global company. And uh, we wanted to come here and make sure that we share this uh, with as many partners as possible as well. Planning to sell 5G smartphones in the US? Um, the, the, plan, um, the plan for 2020 is going to revolve mainly around uh, the, the markets we're already in, including India, including Southeast Asia, including Latin America, including Africa, and of course uh, with, a, uh, with, a, with an emphasis on Western Europe. And this includes markets like Spain, Italy, France, Germany, uh, where we're actually picking up very good traction. What's good traction? Give us a sense of the kind of growth you're looking at. Uh, for example, in, in Western Europe, we are now the fourth largest smartphone maker there. We're growing at 90%, which is the fastest in the top four uh, in, the, in, in Western Europe as a whole. In Spain itself, we are now the second largest smartphone maker in Spain. And if you look only at the open market, we're already the largest smartphone maker in Spain. But this is just smartphones. Uh, as you know, we are more than a smartphone company. Uh, our scooters, for example, are now, have now more than 70% market share in some countries in Western Europe. Uh, our wearables um, are very popular, and our wristbands are now uh, the second most popular wristbands in Western Europe as well. Of course, we have Xiaomi under great scrutiny uh, under the Trump administration. Are you benefiting in any way, and are you hoping to capitalize in any way? As Linda, you know, we are part of a very sophisticated global supply chain. And uh, we are, very, we are big, very big believers in the advantages of a global integrated supply chain. Um, the trade tensions hasn't affected us directly so far, uh, but we are very optimistic about the long-term future of China and the United States. You know, we're very optimistic about the relationship between the two countries. So surely you see opportunities in terms of 5G smartphones. Any numbers you can share with us in terms of sales you're expecting for 2020? Uh, 5G, in particularly in China, is uh, a big focus for our smartphone business this year. We launched, um, we launched our first smartphone in China sometime in uh, October, November last year. And then in December, we followed up with a, with a device that was actually priced at below 300 US dollars. And that created a very big uh, sort of a reaction within the industry because it, it was the most affordable 5G handset that anybody has ever produced. In, in 2020, we expect to produce more than 10 5G handsets in China, to, uh, to, to launch five 10G handsets in China itself. And we expect that in many other countries around the world, we will, we will start launching our 5G portfolio as well. But 5G in China is a very competitive space. Huawei inching towards 50% of the market. What's your plan? What's your strategy? Uh, one of the most uh, uh, important things to know about our company is that we are actually very mission driven. Uh, we, don't, we don't believe in just you know, uh, looking at the bottom line and selling as many products as we can to consumers. We have a very specific mission, which is to bring amazing products at honest prices to as many people as we can. And I think we are the only company in our space to put a real emphasis on this. So um, over the course of the last 10 years that we have existed as a company, we have brought many very high-tech uh, uh, technologies to, to the mass market in the shortest time possible. For example, launching our first generation phone at 1,999 RMB, when everything else is priced at three times the price. Now, so, how, so how, much, how, how much of the market in China can you secure? Well, we believe that uh, 5G presents a very important opportunity for us, and we see uh, a great chance to Come on, show, give us a number. <laughs> no projection. 